Well, guys, we're halfway there to making all my Nickelodeon movies leading up to the Paw Patrol movie. Now, just want to let you guys know, um, now, before I start this review, um, Death, um, Death Arena, um, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man, I have to delay the reaction video to, um, Evers vs. Sub-Zero, why? Because I want to folk, because, um, the reason why I'm delaying, um, my Pebig on Rainy videos, my Dad Pits Gets Grinded videos, and those other videos, is because we're three weeks away until the Paw Patrol movie comes out. And I want to focus on me reviewing all the Nickelodeon movies leading up to Paw Patrol the movie. My my most anticipated movie, movie of all time. So, so enough of that guys. Let's get to the plot. So basically what the plot is, it tells the story about Od um, Otis the cow. That he lives in this barn called Barnyard. And then... And then wait, and then wait, and then later, um, and then later he he joins with his pals and all that, and then, and then on uh, one day, um, the fox named um Dad Dra Dad, I believe what his name is, um, actually killed um Otis's father, which I kind of felt bad for Otis, and then bait, and then basic. And then basically later on in the film, um, Dad actually kidnapped um the chicken, so it's up to Otis. Um, Otis and his pals to stop Drag from taking over the barnyard and save the chickens, and that's basically what the plot is. Yeah. Now, the believe it or not, guys, as a little kid, I really enjoyed this movie, Barnyard, and I did remember seeing this movie in theaters back in 2006. But me looking back to it, I have to say this: this has to be this movie is very underrated. I really enjoy this movie. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there don't like this movie nowadays, but for me, looking back to this movie, this movie was extremely underrated. Now, let's get into the characters. We have Otis, played by Kevin James, which I have to say this, he did a very great voice at point, play as Kevin James. Then we have um, Pip, the rat right there. Um, He was a really good character, I guess. And I do like um, the pig, the chicken, and this guy right there. I forgot I forgot what his name is because I haven't seen the movie in so many years, you guys. And I do, and I, and I really love the funny scene where um, Owens and his friends did, um, stole the cat, stole the car, and went to the fat kid's house. And then we... It's and then Chip Bane. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, guys. I'm at work. We just read that scene. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Oh, I got to say, that was really funny. I really love that scene. I have to say this. That's me. One Brock strikes back. Pushing the... Pushing Daddy Pig off the bed in a nutshell. And we call him. That's called fat ass tipping. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I really enjoyed that scene. That was a really funny scene. And... The final bow scene, I enjoy the final bow scene. And as for the baby, um, the baby chicken, she was adorable. I really enjoyed the baby chick chicken. And of course, you guys, um, this movie did have um a have a cameo in the film that that um that like in the scene when the horse when on um, the horse knocked out on the farmer and Otis said book. And then, um, it, and the book was Charles Webb. And what a coincidence, Charles Webb is going to be my next review. Which, believe it or not, guys, I'm going to review on the cartoon movie first. And as for Charles Webb 2, What Was Great Adventure, sorry, guys. I plan to rant on that movie because do we really need a Charles Webb 2 to begin with? Not really. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's great how they brought back the characters, but like I said, do we really need a Charles Webb 2? Not really. I don't. Which, I only went the original cartoon movie and the 2006 movie. So, so all oh guys, I enjoy this movie so much. And since this movie is extremely underrated in my opinion, I have to give this movie a 7 out of 10. So my next review is Charles Webb. Stay tuned for that review and goodbye.